Hello world, Krista here with Books and Jams, and today is part two of my book haul for the last month or five weeks or so. And I am going to start by showing you a little bit of a vlog of when Lisa from Brand New Book Smell and I went to a thrift store that was having a sale where all their books were 99 cents. So I'm going to insert that in here first just for a little bit of, of fun with a vlog. Can you see the snow in my hair? Woo! I knew we were going to get one more snowstorm before the end of the winter and it is here. So today I am going book shopping for the first time this year. A thrift store near me has a sale going on today where all of their books are 99 cents. So my friend Lisa and I are going book shopping and I'm hoping to vlog. I didn't ask her first, so we'll see how she feels about being on camera. But regardless, I'm gonna try to vlog and show you what books I find today at the thrift store and maybe a couple pictures of the snow for those of you who live in warmer climates. You can enjoy vicariously some snow. It's actually quite pretty today. Big fluffy flakes and my glasses are a little wet. I need to clear them off. Anyway, so let's see what I can find at the thrift store today. I'll be talking to you soon. All right, so I just picked up Lisa. Good morning. And we're gonna go book shopping. Do you have anything you're looking for? No, not anything specific, <laughs> but me Find either, something. but I do have a ten dollar um, budget. Yeah, good luck. We're gonna with that. see how well I <laughs> stick to that. But because they're all ninety nine cents, that's ten books. Yeah, that would be pretty good if I can find ten ones that I just that you really like. Have yeah. to have. That you have to have. We'll see. If you guys don't know, Lisa has her own channel, Brand New Book Smell. Be sure to go check her out because it's you. fabulous. Wow. And we did a Beauty and the Beast book tag together. Yes. So if you haven't seen that, and if you haven't done that, the movie's coming out this coming Friday. Oh, Lisa's magic. She finds tickets for the show before <laughs> the day the movie comes out. So we're going to go on Thursday, and the movie doesn't come out till Friday. So I feel pretty special to have so a, magic, a magic friend who can <laughs> find <friend>. special tickets. <laughs> All right, we're going to go head to the store. We'll talk to you soon. All the smart people getting rid of their Twilight books. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I need to go through this pile and see if I'm actually going to keep all of these ones that I have and count how many I actually have to begin with. I love a good Jane Austen retelling. Probably keep that one. We'll see. We we'll have bags full of books. I stayed under my $10 limit, which was fantastic. I have spent actually less than $8. Yay, me. <laughs> I'm going to do a haul in the next week or so to show you all the books I got, but I am just going to show you one that I'm probably the most excited about. I found this hardcover illustrated Jane Eyre. It has this hideous plastic cover that I'm taking off as we speak because it's just <laughs> dumb, but it's printed on here and it's beautiful cover copy of Jane Eyre and there are color illustrations as well as black and white illustrations inside it's gorgeous 99 cents guys and if you watched my confessions confessions video you know that I have not read Jane Eyre so this might inspire me to read it soon Lisa what's your most favorite book that you got I don't know I can't pick I think this one may be pretty little mistakes it's a an adult choose your own adventure book. Oh my word, I used to love those. <laughs> the cover so is really pretty. It's so it's colorful. All feet. Is it all feet? The feet. Sort of. And radios? Mm. I don't know. I don't know either. Very cool. So <laughs> thanks for coming with us to the thrift store. I'm going to try to get some pictures of some snow to throw in here so you can see if you live in warm climates, you can enjoy our snowy day. Yeah. And I'll be talking to you soon. Bye. Bye. In that haul that I purchased Jane Eyre this lovely copy of Jane Eyre and I may actually 
how many pages? It has to be more than 500 pages. I need a book for Tome Topple, and I might pick up this one because it is more than 500, this copy. Maybe I'll pick this one up for Tome Topple. We shall see. I'm really going back and forth about if I'm going to participate, but this is not a Tome Topple video. This is a book haul. So there you have it. You've already seen this lovely copy of Jane Eyre. That's the first book that I purchased from that thrift store sale. And I have seven others here that I would like to show you. Two of these other ones are books that I already own. And um, Green by Ted Decker is the fourth in a quartet called The Circle. Called The Circle. I think it's just called The Circle. Um, it's actually called, he calls it Book Zero. Because it kind of completes the circle in a sense. Which is really strange. But if you read the books you'll understand. I have a hardcover copy of this. Which is way bigger than the other three books in the series so I decided to pick up this paperback version of it to replace my hardcover which is kind of backwards right most people replace their paperbacks with hardcovers but I prefer paperbacks so I purchased this for 99 cents and also a book by Kristen Hanna because I always pick up Kristen Hanna books when I see them Firefly Lane which unfortunately I already have this one I need to make a list on my phone in the notes or something of all the books that I have by her so I don't keep double purchasing them this is a better copy than the one that I have so I will keep this copy and unhaul the other one so you'll see that soon in an unhaul Firefly Lane is one of her more popular books I really don't know anything about it but I I think Kristen Hanna is a fantastic storyteller and I will read anything that she writes and she writes a lot so I'm slowly building up my Kristen Hanna collection. Next for my Jane Austen retelling fan fiction shelf I picked up Mr. Fitzwilliam Darcy The Last Man in the World by Abigail Reynolds. I think in Pride and Prejudice Elizabeth tells Darcy that she wouldn't marry him if, if he were the last man in the world. But this is a this is a retelling as if what if she never said that and what if she does accept his proposal that first time that he proposes. So it's kind of a, a retake of the story. It just sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. So I love I love anything Pride and Prejudice. So I'm glad to have picked up that for one dollar. The next is a Pulitzer Prize winning book called Olive Kitteridge by Elizabeth Strout. This book is set in Maine, in a small town in Maine, and it's about Olive Kitteridge, who is a retired school teacher, who um, recognizes changes and things in the world around her, but not necessarily in the people in her town. So it's kind of a small town story about different lives of people. It's not very long, um, but it did win a Pulitzer Prize, so I thought I should own it. Um, if you've read this and you know anything about it more than what I do because I don't know much let me know in the comments. I also picked up Balzac and the Little Chinese Seamstress by Dai Siji and I saw this first on Derby from Derby Lane um, her channel. She I don't think loved this book but I picked it up number one because I used to read a lot of, of fiction set in China kind of when I was in high school and early college, which is really strange. I don't know how I got into that at the time, but it's something that I haven't, it's a type of book that I haven't read in a really long time. And so when I picked up this one and it's not very long, I just nostalgically, I wanted to go back to that, to that time in those types of books and see if it's something that still interests me. So I thought I would pick up this one. I also picked up two nonfiction books at the thrift store. One of them is called Simple Gifts, A Memoir of a Shaker Village by June Sprigg. And I don't know exactly what it was about this that enticed me. This book is about America's last Shaker community, which was in New Hampshire, which being in New England, that's relatively close to me. And June Sprigg was in college. She spent a uh, summer there in this community and studied them. And this is just a book of her findings. And so it takes journal entries and articles about them and just tells about this community. It just seemed super interesting to me and I think this cover is really pretty and so I thought I would pick it up. We'll, we'll see. And finally I got um, Gray Matters by Brett, Brett McCracken and this is a, a very interesting book in my opinion. The tagline says navigating the space between legalism and liberty and it just talks about movies and media and social media and as Christians that gray line of how much do you participate or not participate and what becomes legalistic and what becomes um, 
freedom in our in our life with Christ and I just thought it would be an interesting look at today's culture and how to um, not a how-to book but uh, discussing interacting with today's culture as a believer in Christ so I just thought that that sounded pretty interesting so I picked it up those are the eight books that I picked up from the thrift store but I do have a few others to show you one of them is called an uncommon protector by Shelley Shepard Gray and this is a Texas historical fiction. This was sent to me by the Fiction Guild by Zondervan. I get books from them to read and review. So this is one of them. I love historical fiction. This will be a, a pretty quick read and um, set in Texas. I actually have no idea where I picked up this book. It's um, What Alice Forgot by Leanne Moriarty. Honestly, I have no idea. I didn't buy it. Might have been for my friend's little free library. Lisa, was this in your little free library? I really don't know. But I uh, have read a few others from Leanne Moriarty, and I've not read this one. This is about a woman named Alice who somehow loses 10 years of her life. She discovers that her honeymoon is over, and she is now 39 years old and has to navigate life and figure out what happened and how did she lose those 10 years of her life. So there's a little bit of a mystery involved and um, discovery of, of what happened. So it sounds like a very intriguing and interesting story. Next one I know I did pick up from Lisa A Little Free Library and I picked up The Weight of a Human Heart by Ryan O'Neill. And this is a short story collection. And I don't read very many short story collections, but I believe this is a just a contemporary short fiction. The whole book is very short. There are 21 stories in this book. So some of them are, have got to be pretty short because it is not a very long book. It does have deckled edges. I'm not a fan of deckled edges. But I am looking forward to reading these contemporary short stories. They're nice to like do during a readathon. So maybe I'll save this for the next readathon that I participate in. So there's that. And then at the Dollar Tree, because I always look at the books when I'm in the Dollar Tree and I go to the Dollar Tree a lot for work because they have a lot of things that I can use for working with the kids at church. But I picked up this book called Savage Girl by Jean Zimmerman. And I have never heard of this before, but I love the cover. This is a 19th century murder mystery. So it's a bit of a historical fiction, but a mystery as well. I don't know if it has supernatural or or fantastical elements I straight up cover by it was one dollar so if you've read this or you know anything about it please let me know that would be great but that is it that is the 12 books that I have and the little bit of a vlog I hope you enjoyed this video please let me know if you've read any of these or which ones I should start with I will be talking to you soon I do have one more haul coming I thought this was gonna be the last haul but book outlet had a sale come on how can you resist a book outlet sale and I'm on the launch team for a book from one of the speakers at a conference that I go to. She just wrote a book and I signed up to be on her launch team. So that book came in the mail as well. So I have one more haul coming your way in a few days. So I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.